Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and good evening to everyone. We are welcome you to a new video of Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath where we are learning a new exercise, the exercise number 5th. In the last one video, we show you that how we can create that con tool path and we show you the simulation of that one component, how it is going to be manufacturing, how we will define the different, what kind of tool path we are going to use to create that one component. And we are talking about a very unique and special tool path when we are talking about the Milton that is known as pinch turn. So in this video, we will show you that how we can create the tool path. And in the last one video, we show you the simulation. So if you are new and directly watching this one video, I would like to suggest you first go and watch our exercise number fifth part one video where you get understand and get a very good idea about that how uh, my master camp Milton machine is going to be work how we make a different kind of tool path and they working together how we can choose the tool the machine all these things and you will get a lot of idea before you are starting to programming that one part and after that one we show you that how we make the job setup as well as so if you don't have idea or if you're getting any issue how we can make the job setup for that one component so you can go and watch in a part one in the part two you would like to create a tool path for the left hand spindle and we will also try to create a tool path for the right hand spindle also so now before let we have to start to create a tool path for the left hand spindle so for creating a tool path on the left hand spindle first we have to click a uh, which one tool path we have to choose and I would like to told you before we start to working on this the machine which we are using for that one creating that one component that machine name is uh, Fanuc Generic Milton TT what is the meaning of TT it means we have a machine which have a two turret upper turret as well as lower turret it means its machine is have a double turret so we can make a tool path both side from the upper stream as well as the lower stream so let we have to start to create step by step different number of programs to complete that one part the first option or a first operation which we are going to perform that's known as a facing as usual so when we are clicking on the facing we have to choose from the which stream we have to create that component so i would like to came here and select uh, the lower turret and the left hand side of spindle and after selecting it i have to choose or i have to define the tool once i define the tool i have to define the reference positions once i have defined the reference position I have to define the desktop cut value and all these things all these parameters are the same as the turning tool path so important thing is that we are choosing when that is uh, this one let we have to talk about a little bit about this option these are the total number of four options when and these options always open when we have a machine of double spindle and double turret if you have a machine of double spindle and double turret if you want to make a tool path with the help of upper stream on a left hand spindle so you have to choose it if you have to make a tool path with the help of lower stream on the left hand spindle you have to choose it if you want to make a tool path on a right hand spindle with the upper stream you have to choose it and if you want a tool path with the help of lower stream on the right hand spindle you have to choose it so now just say ok and now let we have to create a step by step different number of tool paths so as you can see the first tool path we successfully created that's known as a rough uh, face after the facing I would like to create an, another one tool path that is known as the rough so I have to choose the tool path create the same thing a same tool just say okay okay roughing and say use stock for outer boundary and desktop cut should be 1 mm just say okay so as you can see here I successfully created a roughing tool path for the OD portion and after creating that tool path the next tool path that I would like to create that is known as a pinch turn now let we have to talk about the pinch turn what is pinch turn when we are talking about the pinch turn we have to click on a pinch turn once I click on a pinch turn we have to define a new tool to create that one pinch turn is a very unique operation in a mill turn which is going to be performed when we are talking about the pinch turn it means it will going to be performed together on upper stream as well as lower stream both at the same time so I have to select a tool when you are selecting a pinch turn associated operation tool you have to always keep in mind when you are choosing the roughing operation tool that if you are choosing that's that tool the color is that kind of gray so you have to choose that color yellow and the previously if you are choosing the color yellow so if that condition you have to choose this tool 
and what is the reason behind that because when we make this tool path so that time the uh, the bottom tool came in like this so if this is uh, rotating in the clockwise direction for example that insert is in upper upper direction so in that condition when this tool is engaging that time so my insert is going to be from the wrong side or opposite or downside so that's the main reason and I would like to also explain you when we are on the machine simulation so let we have to uh, explain you a little deep parameter of the pinch turn so once I select the tool path I have to came and define the reference position of upper stream and now we have to came in a pinch turn in a pinch turn what are the different number of kind of options are available right at here the first thing is with the which operation you want to make the pinch turn once I define it the second option is in a winch turn what you want to make a first option or a first uh, tool engaging to the workpiece that upper turret or lower turret you can define it here and we again also define uh, the timing between the both of upper turret and lower turret or we can also make the number of revolutions or we can also define the value of distance as well as we have also option of balance turn synchronization that make automatically as well as after the first path so I would like to told you the best options are the time as well as the distance both are the very good and best option and how you want to make the first engagement that you can choose right it from here so now I would like to say just say ok and first I would like to show you that how my pinch turn operation is going to be work on machine and how we can make the tool path synchronization for that one operation so I have to select all the operations and just say G1 once I click on G1 so mastercam new window is going to be calculated and opening here a new window and now right at here we have to synchronization my tool path in a synchronization of tool path we have to define the tool path for example first option we have to successfully do the face after the facing I have to click on here why I just click on this it means once my facing operation is going to be completed after that my milton operation will start to perform but I don't I can't make this end when this end that time is start because both our operations are working together so always keep in mind when we are working with the pinch turn so once my facing operation is completed so you have to choose the upper to second tool path if my facing operation was in this upper stream so I have to define from face to the next option that's a really good important thing that always you have to keep in mind if you don't define that thing, that thing so that time what is happening that tool and that tool start to work together in that condition so now let we have to the simulation of one of the most unique and amazing tool path of the Milton module now have a look this is called the pinch turn if you want to oh, uh, so the machine housing so you can click on it and now let's play the first option is face so once my face operation successfully completed now have a look that's the beauty of pinch turn when the two spindle came together two spindle work together and if you get a chance to uh, watch this tool path on a machine so that's that that time it's working uniquely it's working ultimately it's working amazing so that's a really good tool path of that is known as a pinch turn when the both upper and lower tread tool working together and make our turning within a very less time and half of our real component cycle time so I hope you guys get understanding about that how we can make a tool path that is known as a pinch turn that's a really new tool path when we are that not learning previously in any particular exercise so I hope you guys get understanding about all about the pinch turn if you have any doubt or if you have any question you can go and comment on our comment section we are trying to best to give you answer I would like to suggest you keep learning keep growing